Absolutely. I can't help! <sighs> Isn't that lovely? Oh, this is interesting. But... <laughs> well... Um, well... I suppose... Is that so? Reductio ad absurdum. Sheriff? <sighs> but... about that. Hmm. Not so sure. Huh? How interesting. I'm not sure. Maybe...
Life is irrational. I suppose. You go on. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Marvelous. I suppose. I don't think so. Unfortunately.
A priori. Don't be hasty. Absolutely. You have me all wrong. <laughs> Is that so? Are you sure? Life is irrational. Are you paying attention?
Use your brain. I suppose. Guns aren't my forte. Oh god, you're back! Did you hear that sound? It didn't come from the woods. And I don't think there's much game to hunt anyway. Oh, right! The train was supposed to come in today! I'm coming with you. I'm coming too! That's better. I've got your back, boss. Doesn't matter what, but something. It's a miracle. The box returned to us with something inside of it.
Settle down, folks. No need to worry. I've secured the letter. If you keep fighting over this, you'll rip it to shreds. Then everyone loses. Oh, is that you, Sheriff? What a convenient time for you to arrive. Maybe if you had arrived a little sooner, a man wouldn't be bleeding out on the ground right now. Punishment? That guard maintained order. If not for that gunshot, I wouldn't be holding this letter right now. Settle down, settle down! The way I see it, this letter belongs to all the people of Batale, which is why I'll read it aloud for everyone to hear. I don't see how that's possible. It was on the train when it returned from beyond the perimeter, Sheriff. These good townsfolk saw it unloaded with their very own eyes. No one knows the difference between possible and impossible, Sheriff. Not anymore. It is with great honor and humility that I write to you now from the world beyond the towers. I, Jessica Murdoch, have escaped the tale with my beloved partner, Gary Reed. I have sworn an oath not to explain how I achieved liberation, nor what I know of the world outside the tale. But I can tell you this, it is all thanks to the Batale Repatriation Society. I, I received this great blessing by following their instructions. Perhaps if you are deemed worthy, you can receive the same blessing. If so, I look forward to seeing you in the world beyond. And that's all she wrote. How... Wonderful! Let's celebrate the tale! Jessica and Gary have repatriated! So it's true! It, it is possible to escape the towers! Repatriate! Repatriate! To receive medical care, of course. You want to put him in her joke of a hospital? That building still reeks of the animals it sheltered before she took ownership. No. We'll take him to the mansion and call for Nurse Kathleen from there. Really, I beg to differ. 
I think the easiest thing for you to do right now would be to drop this whole issue and return to the police station. Julian, this is the sheriff you're talking to. I'm well aware of that, Madeline. I'm also aware that the title of sheriff only contains so much power as the people deign to give it. I strongly advise you not put that power to the test. Erica, I know you only want to help, and I appreciate that, I do. But this is not the time. Your posturing will only cause more chaos. Well, you can believe that I'm not stupid. If I did something to him now, then you'd surely find out. How's that for my assurance? The longer we stand here arguing, the more that man bleeds out. It's quite a waste. As you should. I know this didn't go how you wanted, Erica, but it's good news, right? Jessica and Gary escaped after all. But, but it came straight from the train. What? Why would they do something like that? No, I think he split off as soon as he went into the crowd. Ah, speak of the devil. I was just telling Liam what a strong, hard-working sheriff you are. And I'm inclined to agree, but, um, Erica... Is this man really your partner? We're absolutely partners. You don't like Maddie, but you're happy to work with the Heartbreaker? I'm not the Heartbreaker. There is no Heartbreaker. That nickname is absurd. I heard Charlotte giving a speech. Was it important? Arrived. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> that's that's amazing. But why do you say claimed? Did you see it? That's great news. Maybe I can help. I can talk to Charlotte about the letter for you. Maybe retrieve it. Well, for security reasons, that's impossible. Yes, but there are rules. Julian... Well... Uh, I'm fine.
I, um, I'll talk to Charlotte myself. Goodbye. Why is he called a heartbreaker anyway? Yeesh! Well, they're alive? Oh, interesting. I mean, I have no idea how serial killers think, but I would assume they kill for the thrill of it? Or something like that. Ugh. It's okay, I was curious. Because if that man really is the heartbreaker, I'd like to know who I'm dealing with. How can you possibly work with someone like that anyway? And you believe him? Oh, I hope you're right, but I just don't know. That man gives me the willies. Besides, I think only a serial killer would act so casually about chasing my sister. <laughs> uh. So, uh, what's next for you? I told you I'd ask Charlotte about that. Come on, you should be celebrating! No buts. You're gonna do something fun tonight. Something to relax and forget about work. Tell me something. Do you ever take off that sheriff badge? Other than when you put your PJs on. Like, ever? That's what I thought. First of all, ouch, I have to admit, I share the town's name, so I can't help but take that a little personally. Secondly, I have an idea of something fun we could do. No, no, this is better off as a surprise. You also seem to hate fun. Maybe it's time for a change? I want you to meet me somewhere. I guess you'll just have to come find out. Sarcasm. Nice. I'm going to take that as a good sign. So should I. But then, we're both going to relax. See you there at 8 o'clock? Erica! There you are! Is something wrong? Is hope such a bad thing? So, I guess this means you're not ready to close the case? Oh, good. Well, I do think it'd be nice to celebrate a little. I want to believe that Jessica and Gary really are safe somewhere out there. But I also want to keep working the case with you. I'm afraid you'll fire me once it's over. I 
really don't know what came over me that day. I'll keep doing better, I swear. No shit! Your partner is an accused murderer. If I can't rise above that bar, then we're all in trouble. No. Yes. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. Something I I've been thinking. No. I guess it's more about me. But it might be important. Maybe. Unless I'm just imagining things. I know. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your time. I will. Really? You're uh, meeting Liam? I thought you were dating Julian. Oh, good. Then I can wait until you get back from your meeting. Good. Why you're at my doorstep. So, you're finally coming for me and my brothers. Well, Sarah should keep her mouth shut. I thought those kids got out of a tail anyway. I don't know what I believe anymore. What I can tell you is that I had nothing to do with whatever happened to them. So if you're trying to wrap this around as a reason to cause trouble for me and my brothers, we ain't gonna make it easy for you here in Batale. Please, call me Tip. Huh? We are not survivalists, Agent Wright. We are a local group that protects the interests of our community. Agent Wright, 
your illegal and unprecedented takeover of local law enforcement. you, Agent Rat. We know what we can do about you if we have to. <laughs> and you wanted to know what we still do? We prepare for what's next. You think those towers are gonna protect us forever? One day, they'll go dark. Or, they'll go down. And we'll have to be ready for what's on the other side. The feds, your people, what else would require this level of protection? <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. The last 20 years, you monsters have been waging a war against Patel and all sorts of towns like it. Now your people can't touch us, can't turn us into whatever it is you think we're supposed to be. And I bet they're furious. Seems I know our government better than you do. Not surprising. No! Now will you leave me alone? Yeah. <laughs> Think of it this way. Well... Mm, not so sure. Good to go. This is awesome. I... Uh...
Erica. Ugh. I love this! Well... I'm not sure. I... Uh... Maybe. But... Whatever. Well, Erica. I'm so sorry. Please. Erica.
Oh no. Whatever. Hey! Why, hello there, Sheriff Wright. Contemplating the complexities of the universe. Or perhaps the lack thereof. Not drunk enough. I tried to break the ceiling. Oh, give me a fucking break. You work every day in this miracle of nature and you ignore it. Before the contingency, people say this was a simple, one-story building with a handful of rooms. Now it looks like a skyscraper from the outside, but on the inside it looks like it always did before. And no one can get to the upper floors. Then why doesn't it drive you crazy? All these days I spent locked in that cell, I wondered what would happen if someone tried to break through the ceiling. Why didn't you ever try, Erica? I didn't even shake off a speck of dust, but I had to try. Why didn't you try, Erica? So you're afraid. A strong, stern sheriff who reaches for a gun at every opportunity is too afraid to take a step into the dark. <laughs> nice try, sir. A noble effort indeed. Such powerful deduction, too. What an amazing sheriff. Go ahead. That's probably why I came here, anyway. I probably wanted you to. I'm trying so hard to be a good boy, but I was feeling rather naughty. You know what I'm saying. Put me up for the night. I'll just ask Charlotte to get me out in the morning. Talked to her? Oh, yes, I talked to her. And a few other things, too. <laughs> Erica, 
they are blushing. Oh, it's adorable. Such a lovely shade of pink. Oh, no, I'm not sleeping with Charlotte. Not yet. And I'm not sure I want it to go that far. The standards are quite low, you know. I'm quite sure she fucks her own brother. Nope. Julian. Everything about Charlotte bothers me. And it should bother you, too. She's got this entire town wrapped around her pinky finger, like a strand of her beautiful hair. I think she might even be responsible for it. She bothers me, Erica. She bothers me very much. Are you going to lock me up or not? Or what? I could put up a fight. We could wrestle a little while. Might be fun. Oof. I do believe that you would. Don't worry. I was only kidding. Just having a little laugh. I'm going, I'm going. Fuck. I don't really want to be in here again. I don't want to talk to Charlotte. Please, Erica, I didn't mean it. I don't want to stay in here. Don't call me that fucking name! Erica, Erica, have I ever told you how beautiful you are? You're like a budding perennial in the fresh morning dew. Must have had something to do with it. You met with Jessica, didn't you? Shortly before she disappeared. I met with her once. What of it? She hounded me with letters about the train. I thought if I agreed to meet her in person, she would be satisfied. So, was she satisfied? You could say that, yes. I convinced her to leave the matter alone. And you never saw her again? Have you discussed any of this with Erica? No, I, I didn't remember any of it until this morning. Good. No reason to give her ideas. In any case, it's not important. It's a small town. Of course I met with Jessica once. Why wouldn't I? I'm just so confused. What's wrong with my memories? It's like everything's scrambled since... since the last time I saw you. Have you been using again? No! No, of, of course not! Then why did I find these in your kitchen? No, no, you didn't. I don't know where you got those. 
You're a strong girl, Maddie. You broke the habit once, and I admire you for that. I'd prefer to keep your head clear. Things would be so much easier that way. Your behavior in the cabin was sloppy. My behavior in the cabin? What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. You're too honest for your own good, Madeline. I need you to explain this, Julian. Why did I clean up that cabin? Do you know why? Look into my eyes, Maddie. Do you trust me? Not really, no. Fine. Let me rephrase. I helped you once. Isn't that true? Yes. I'll never forget that. You gave me a job when no one else would. If it wasn't for you. Good. Good. So now you'll help me. I'd like to help, yes. Good. Then you'll keep working for Erica and ensure she stops looking for Jessica and Gary. I... I, I don't know. Erica thinks the letter might be fake. She thinks maybe... You'll convince her otherwise. You'll find a reason for her to believe that letter is real, won't you? Only if that's the truth. Fine. Let me see your arm. I told you I'm not using! I haven't since... What? What happened? Is that you, Erica? Oh, I feel... I feel dizzy. Bandages? I don't have any. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really tired. Let it go.